Every night when I go upstairs, my mum has to check the whole room before I get into bed and turn off the light. First she draws back the curtains to make sure the flat man isn't hiding there, pressed against the glass, ready to slide out and get me when the lights go off. Then she looks carefully through the wardrobe in case Jumble Joan is hanging there, soft and lumpy pretending to be a harmless set of old clothes. And last of all, she gets down on her hands and knees to search for the ankle grabber, who lives in an invisible swamp just beneath my bed. Even when she tells me, It's all clear. I can never be quite sure. I peep round the door, then make a quick dash and jump onto my bed from the middle of the room. I try to keep away from the grabbing hand, which might shoot out any minute. Then I pull up the covers to my nose and peep over around the room. My mum shakes her head. She says, I've told you before, there are no monsters in this house. Then she kisses me goodnight and goes downstairs. Goodnight. Good I lie in bed all alone in the dark and my head feels full of monsters. I think of the chimney creeper, the guitar gobbler, but most of all I think about the awful ankle grabber. I think about his two greedy eyes rolling like glass marbles from side to side in its hooded head. They peer out above the swamp, always on the lookout for anything which might fall in its way. I think about the grasping hands with lizard-like fingers, reaching out on long scaly arms to get me. I picture them as they climb up the side of my bed creeping nearer until they are almost touching me. I shiver and squeeze myself as soon as I can into the very middle of the bed. I tell myself that if I stay there without moving, I will be safe. The ankle grabber can't get me because it's stuck in its slimy swamp. No matter how much it stretches and struggles, it can't get out. I picture it sinking back into the mud which boils and bubbles around its ears. I turn over and over, rolling myself up in the covers like a huge swish roll. I hate it lying there wide awake with my head full of monsters. Then another horrid thought creeps into my brain. I start to think I want the loo. I lie there and tell myself I don't need to go, but I know I do. I tell myself I can wait till the morning, but I know I can't. I try to think of something else, but all I can think of is rain and waterfalls. And I know in the end I've got to go. I take a deep breath and make a jump in the dark. I land softly near the door and tiptoe along the landing to the loo. Then I make a run all the way from the bathroom and take a wild leap into the room. But I miss. I hit the floor with a big bang, landing face down on the carpet with my head almost under the bed. I hardly dare to look in case I see the ankle grabber watching me. Any minute his bony hands could shoot out and grip hold of me. Then, when I do look, someone else's eyes are staring back at me, my teddy sitting there on top of the swamp. I reach out to save him before he's sucked in and lost forever. Suddenly I stop dead. Behind me I can feel a large hand, cold and rough, closing around my ankle. It grips me hard and pulls me with a sudden whoosh. What you doing down there, boy? Says my dad. I thought you were the ankle grabber. Oh, it's the ankle grabber tonight, is it? Says Dad. Not the terrible toad twiddler. No. I say. Not him. And the nasty knee nibbler? He hasn't been back. No. You scared him off. Then it sounds to me like another job for the dreadful demon dad. Look out, I call. My dad's coming to get you. Uh, uh.